So here's a picture of the big boy locomotive backing up through Daggett, California. And as you can see in the uh, photo, it's going to be approaching a long sweeping left turn as you go backwards. So right now the locomotive is on a straight piece of track. And so let's, uh, let's freeze the photo and take a closer look. So the photo, the photo was frozen and the, the main frame of the locomotive is uh, what holds the smoke box and all the other parts of the locomotive. The forward engine unit sits or resides below the main frame and in articulating locomotives it is allowed to move independently of the main frame. So um, you can see the, the lower arrow is pointing out the, uh, the engine unit, which combine, which is the, uh, the pistons and the wheels themselves. And let's take a side look at the uh, 4014, and it might be a little more clear, showing the main frame and the um, engine units. So here's a side photo of the big boy, and the track that it's on actually is a little bit curved, so it is starting to do a little bit of articulation. But the uh, the top arrow is going to point out the mainframe, and that's where the smoke box resides, the boiler, the engineer's cab, and all that, and you can also see the walking rail for inspections. The lower arrow, which is coming up right now, that shows the engine unit, which uh, consists of the pistons, uh, obviously the rods to the wheels, and all that. And if you look closely, you can see that there is a little bit of articulation going on in this photo. Um, basically, look at the uh, walking rail, and you can see it's off a little bit to the left of the, uh, uh, the deck that's attached to the engine unit. Uh, the deck is the platform right in front of the uh, smoke box. So now we'll go back to the uh, overshot of the big boy going through Daggett backwards. And uh, first thing we'll do, let's go ahead and zoom in a little closer to the uh, front portion of the locomotive. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a yellow vertical line which will show that the, uh, the walking rail on the mainframe and the uh, engine are perfectly aligned. And that's what you would expect when the track is straight. So we'll go ahead and zoom out and we'll resume the video and we'll observe the big boy as it enters the uh, sweeping turn to the left as we're going backwards. And once we get into the turn, we'll uh, zoom in again. Here we go. And you should see the mainframe starting to go off to the right. And the engine unit is uh, offset. So let's go ahead and freeze this. And we'll draw a couple of yellow lines that are parallel to the walking inspection rail on the main unit. And as you can see, they are no longer perfectly aligned with the uh, main uh, engine unit or the front engine unit. So that is showing the, uh, the articulation going on. We'll go ahead and resume the video now and you'll be able to see the alignment come back into uh, or come back into perfect alignment as the track straightens out. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll just continue to run the video. You can observe the articulating uh, being reset. If you look in the upper right hand corner, you can see the unexploded video uh, showing the, uh, the track in a little better perspective. So you can see, you know, when we get out of the corner. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, uh, able to appreciate uh, what an articulating steam locomotive did. Thank you.